Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows Mixed Reality on Windows 10 version 1803. This release comes with a number of new features and enhancements for Windows Mixed Reality users. Uh, and in this video we're just going to take a look at some of the most noteworthy changes and features. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with how you manipulate Windows. In the previous release, uh, manipulating Windows and objects was uh, a little bit iffy. You would have to usually go into a dedicated move mode or you can only do it one at a time. But in this release they've sort of made it more natural and more integrated with your work. Flow. So if we come over here to these two windows here, since I have two controllers, I can grab one and grab the other and I can move them around at the same time. And that wasn't possible before, so I can now move two windows if I need to, which I'm not sure why you would need to, but hey, you can do it now, which is very nice. Also, you may have noticed Skype is updated for Windows Mixed Reality in this release. I'm not entirely sure if this is the final UI. I would hope not. It seems very um, rough, but hey, there's a new Skype UI. Let's move that to the side. And we can also uh, resize and manipulate windows with two controllers as well now. So to resize or zoom in and out, I just need to pinch with both and zoom in and out much like I would on a touchscreen or on the HoloLens if you own one. Uh, and I can also twist windows by doing the same thing, just by manipulating my controllers. And this is a much better way of moving things around. It feels much more integrated to the user's workflow. No longer do I have to press this dedicated move button up here to resize and shrink windows at will, I can just simply grab it and shrink it whenever I feel like it without having to do much uh, thinking, which is exactly what you would expect to be able to do. And it works really quite well. And that's pretty much it for improvements to the behavior of Windows Mixed Reality. The other changes come in the form of environments. So this is Cliff House. This is the one that has been here since Windows Mixed Reality first launched, but there's a new one called Skyloft. So to enter the new environment, we have to go up to the start menu here, select places and select Skyloft. That's the name of the new environment. And that will drop this sort of cool uh, model of the house that we're going to, uh, which if we get closer to, we can have a look there. This is sort of a, this is an overview of what it looks like. And if we click on it, that will take us straight to Skyloft. So this is Skyloft. Skyloft is a much more open environment compared to Cliff House. There's open sky here. And if you look over here, all the room, there's no enclosed spaces. Everything's just very open. Uh, so yes, this is the Microsoft bag, which is available in all of the uh, Windows Mixed Reality houses. So far, there's only two. And what this sort of does is gives you um, recommended apps that you can download that work with VR, which is quite nice. We come over here, you'll see that by default, there's lots of furniture placed down and all of this furniture is maneuverable. You can pick it up, place it over there if I want to, move that, place that over there as well. It's all customizable. You can customize this place in any which way you like. Uh, but by default, the layout was pretty much like this and it looks pretty nice. And if you come over here, you can see a couple of pinned apps by default, um, which, um, you know, if you click on them, they will launch their respective apps and then you can go into them and manipulate them or whatever else. We come over here, so there's a bit of space behind here where we can uh, put things in the shelves. So if we open up the holograms app here, we'll try and put this globe, for example, into one of these shelves. Let's make it smaller. And hopefully, there we go, right in there, right where it belongs. You can customize the environment any which way you like, which makes perfect sense, since this is VR after all. There's a bigger sort of room over here, which uh, is very grand. It's a very grand room. There's more furniture down there, which you can move around. Uh, and yeah, over there by default, there's four pinned apps, mail, edge, uh, store, and calendar. We come over to this sort of marble here. We can sort of launch these all and use them all at the same time. So this is my ultimate workspace now. And I can now read emails, browse the web. Let's go to uh, Windows Central, yeah. Oh, hang on. Windows Central. We can look through the Microsoft Store and we can also do things with our calendar. And we, of course we can add more apps if we want to. So let's open up, um, let's open up the settings app. We can now pin that over there as well if we really want to and make that bigger. Oh, hang on, there we go. Make it lots bigger so we can see it. Pin it over there as well. So yeah, we can obviously customize these. We don't have to have all of these apps here. So if I want to, I can get rid of the store app and replace it with that or whatever else. I can put a game there or something. And uh, yeah, it works just like you would expect. So if we go up to, let's add another app. Let's add calculator. There's the calculator. And the calculator is now over there as well. A bit small, but that's okay. We can 
and just resize it and place that somewhere. Let's place you. Oh, apparently I can place that outside the glass. Interesting. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Let's place you over there. So yes, that's that's this area, and it's again a very open space. There's lots of open rooms in this environment compared to Cliff House, which was very sort of. Um, it wasn't it wasn't claustrophobic, but it wasn't. It, there were confined spaces compared to this. There's no confined spaces really in this environment. What am I doing? Let's make, let's make that really big. Come over here, please. There we go. I can place you on top of um, the marble. How nice. And there's a bit at the back here. If we go up here, you'll see that, yes, there's another space at the back which has Skype and holograms pinned by default. And again, the Skype app appears to be different in this version of Windows. Doesn't look finished, at least to my eye. Uh, but yes, it's all here. And if I click on messages, it just takes you to the normal Skype UWP messaging user interface. And I assume the same goes for voice. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty much all the same. But yeah, that's that Skype's homepage is, is different now, which is interesting. Uh, then there's holograms. And this sort of back area here is left empty, so you can customize it yourself, uh, which is what this carpet's here for. So we come over here. And um, let's look for some. Oh. Let's put down this bench. Oh, that's the bench. We can now resize that if we want to and organize it as we please. That's good. Let's put down, have we got any tables? Yes, we do. Big table, which we can also put here. Maybe a plant. Or a vine. We can go up there. <laughs> there we go. Hang up there. And then we can have um, a couple more things there. There's a natural plant pot. As well, so yeah, you can customize this area if you want. You can customize the whole place, but this back area here is sort of left blank, so you can go wild with your holographic objects and whatnot. But yeah, the actual view is really quite nice. It's it's apparent we appear to be set on a futuristic version of Earth this time. Cliff House is another planet because there's floating islands and stuff, but this one appears to be Earth at least. Um, the the architecture, at least it seems to be. It definitely maybe not current time Earth, but. Whoa, definitely future Earth. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. These buildings here look nice-ish. I think it looks pretty cool. Well, if, you have, if you're scared of heights, don't do what I'm doing. Uh, but yes, that's pretty much a quick look at Windows Mixed Reality for Redstone 4. Lots of nice improvements. This new environment is actually really quite nice. It's uh, much more open. And what Mixed Reality really needs now is the ability to invite other people into your workspaces. Because you can customise these places however you want. You can add furniture everywhere, or have no furniture, or hang pictures on the wall. And you can, and you can do whatever you want. And you can invite other people into your world. Well, you would, And it would be awesome if you could invite other people into your world to sort of show off your cliff house or your skyloft or future houses down the line. Uh, but yes, unfortunately that's not in yet. But otherwise, this is a really nice, well-rounded release. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.